Hi, this is Heather, podcasting from my home in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and this is your Simple Photo Minute. Seems like a lot of photographers are interested in improving their workflow, so I thought I would share some of the ways I used my Wacom tablet to increase my efficiency. I shoot about 2,000 raw images on the 5D per wedding, and I usually have those processed out in about a day, so take a look. So my goal when I began automating was to never leave the Wacom tablet in Capture One. I didn't want any additional keystrokes or mouse movements. I wanted to be able to do everything on my tablet to improve my efficiency. So the first thing I did was I selected my grip pen and I made sure I was on the Capture One application because obviously you can assign different keystrokes and modifiers based on the application, which I do. So when you're working on this, just make sure you have the correct application selected. And the first thing I did with my pen was I wanted these little clicky things to go right and left through the images. So my top clicker, yes, is the right key and the bottom is the left so I can very quickly click through the images in Capture One and by the same token I set up this express key, the one with the little cutout, you know, so you can feel it. I made that my delete key. So very quickly clicking through the images, delete, 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 goodbye, and those images are done and out of my way. Then I thought about what I use most often in the tabs in Capture One and I didn't want to have to switch between them because that takes time and I don't want to waste time. So I, I use the exposure and white balance predominantly. So I went to my touch strip here in the Wacom properties and I selected the keystrokes that increase exposure which is control plus and control minus to decrease so now I just have to slide my finger up the touch strip or slide it down to increase or decrease my exposure, which works really well and, and actually makes perfect sense. So all I have to do is stay on the white balance tab and I can change that as needed at the same time, um, increasing exposure, decreasing, whatever I need. Um, also, back to the express keys. Uh, when I'm done with all of that, you know, and I've been deleting along the way, is I have a button set up to select all of the images and then this bottom one batch processes them out so that I am done and it is awesome. I also really quickly wanted to mention that I love, I'm trying to get down here, love my X keys. I use those, they're obviously mapped to my Photoshop actions which is just fabulous because I have everything that I need right there and I can get to it really quickly. It will help you more than words can describe. Thanks. See ya. Photocastnetwork.com, your photography resource in the potosphere. Photocastnetwork.com.